Heat number one of the women's 200 yard freestyle relay down in lane number three, Central Connecticut State. Lane number four, Ryder University. Lane number five is the Central Connecticut State A squad. And in lane number seven, that's Rutgers C team. Looks like lane three, Central's out. So we just got Ryder and Central in the middle and then up at the top is Rutgers. Great lead off by Ryder. Woo, 24-3-3 on the leadoff for Ryder in lane number four. They enter with about a half a body length lead over lane number seven, Rutgers C squad. They were 25-2 on that first leg in this 200 free relay. Nice relay exchange too by Ryder. But here comes Rutgers. And if the kids who just swam that medley relay can take one thing from these college swimmers, it's going to be the relay exchanges. You, you notice the college swimmers a lot more aggressive when it comes to taking over for that swimmer. At the halfway mark, it's still lane number four, Ryder. But look at the kick out in lane number seven from Rutgers, almost the full 15 meters, and she comes up with the lead at the 25. Ryder had a good relay, but these underwater dolphins and breakouts Woo from Red, Rutgers is big time. And Rut thanks to those amazing underwaters, it is Rutgers with the slight edge as they enter the anchor leg. Great exchanges by both teams, but a slight lead for Rutgers. Oh, they are exactly tied. It doesn't get much closer than this. With 12 and a half yards to go, it's Rutgers in seven. Ryder in four. Under the flag, still anybody's race at the wall. It goes to Ryder in lane number four, 138. Six, one, just three one hundredths of a second in front of the Rutgers squad up in lane number seven. Can't ask for much more than that. I got to tell you, the Ryder's timed the finish perfectly. Rutgers got a little short. And that's exactly what it came down to. It was a timing finish because these girls were shoulder to shoulder under the flag. So.